Dusty Bowling, and I am so excited that Scripps National Spelling Bee has made my book, Momentous Events in the Life of a Cactus, a bee's bookshelf selection. Yay! Uh, Momentous Events in the Life of a Cactus is actually the sequel to my first book, Insignificant Events in the Life of a Cactus, which was a Bee's Bookshelf selection several years ago. And Insignificant Events in the Life of a Cactus is about a 13-year-old girl named Avon Green who was born without arms. And her parents move her from Kansas to Arizona because they've taken jobs running this old rundown Western theme park called Stagecoach Pass. And so while she is there, Avon becomes friends with a boy named Connor, and they work together to solve a mystery at the theme park. So if you haven't read the first book yet, pick that one up first. And then move on to the sequel, Momentous Events in the Life of a Cactus, which continues to follow the life and times and shenanigans of Avon Green. So in Momentous Events in the Life of a Cactus, you are going to watch Avon as she starts high school. She is still at the theme park Stagecoach Pass where she is trying to learn how to ride a horse for an upcoming horse show. There is a new mystery to solve and she develops her first crush on someone and she also gets terribly humiliated by a horrible, horrible, mean prank, which kind of throws her whole life into turmoil. So. If you like the first book, I definitely re recommend reading the second book. And so I wanted to read a couple of passages from the book that highlight some words that I really love. Um, I think they're really good spelling words. So the first one I'm going to read is blase. I think that's a really great word. Um, so here we go. Hmm. I turned back to myself, my face full of determination, which kind of made me Looked like I needed to use the bathroom. <laughs> I relaxed my face a bit and did my best to seem blasé, which was like the coolest word ever and also how I was going to act about everything this year, which she definitely doesn't. <laughs> oh, that kid passing me in the hall who just put his hand up to high five me then burst out laughing with his friends. I'm so blasé, I forgot about it the moment it happened. Someone put a candy bracelet and ring pop on my desk. I'm so blasé. I ate them both in one sitting during class and then fell into a deep sugar coma. Oh, that kid just yelled catch and threw a wadded up paper at me. I'm so blasé. I reacted with lightning quick reflexes and karate kicked that paper right back in his stupid face. Okay, maybe that reaction isn't exactly blasé, but it's awesome. <laughs> so blasé basically means unconcerned. Um... Okay, how about another word? One more word that I really like, and that word is hornswoggle. <laughs> Hi, I'm Avon, I told the man. He smiled at me. I'm Milford. Josephine grunted again, arms crossed, suddenly interested in the flowery wallpaper. Have you lived here long? I asked him. No, I moved in last week. The poor guy seemed like he was about to fall over from trying to hold himself up, so I said, well, it was nice to meet you. He looked at Josephine. I'll see you at dinner, Josephine. Josephine rolled her eyes at the wallpaper and puffed up her cheeks as she blew out a breath. I'm sure you will, Mil Milford. <laughs> I hear we're having steak Diane tonight, he said. Josephine cut her eyes to him. And just what is that supposed to mean? I cleared my throat. <clears throat> I'm sure it will be quite delicious, I said. I watched Milford scuffle away. Then I turned to Josephine, who was glaring at Milford's back. You don't have to be so mean to him. I am not about to let that man hornswoggle me. Okay, I totally don't know what that means, but it sounds inappropriate. <laughs> okay, so hornswoggle isn't really inappropriate, but it's not nice. It means to like cheat or lie to someone or like trick them into something. Um, so anyway, if that sounded interesting to you and you like those words, I hope you'll pick up Momentous Events in Life of a Cactus. But first, of course, you got to read the first one, Insignificant Events in Life of a Cactus. So happy reading and spelling, everyone. Thank you so much.